Craft 209. I just wanted to post a quick video for a project I'm working on, and it's for a custom watch band with a turquoise kind of overlay or, or uh, you know, some turquoise on it. And it's for a specific watch, so um, I just wanted to kind of post a quick sample uh, and options and design ideas. So these are the turquoise leather I have. Actually, the turquoise leather I have is this this piece right here and then as you add dye to it or for example this one has a shade of black over the top and you can see it changes the shade just uh, just a little bit so let me see if I can move this closer to the camera really quick yeah. so this is the original turquoise, it's more of a lighter color and then this is just with a blue dye over the top and I kinda wiped it off and then this is with the blue dye and then there's a black antique, kind of like a, a gel that I put over and I'll explain why I did that in a, in a second. So, and um, part of the overlay, you know, the edges are stitched and then um, they have to be kind of stitched down. And was to kind of draw some kind of geometric shapes, you know, just a little bit of random triangles or whatever. And so on this one, the the shapes are formed by the stitching and this is harder to do because when I try to stitch something I want to stitch it within the same hole and and enter into an exact same hole I don't want to create a new hole um, so that is harder to kind of meet up and find the right hole um, so I mean that's kind of using stitching to kind of create some patterns and this is kind of the basic shape of the watch um, you know, the watch band so you know, it'd be something it'd be on your wrist something like that uh, I cannot, you know, this is the watch. I'll show you really quick. This is the watch. You know, and then that shape of the main base leather. This is kind of oblong you know, shape. So, this is just a sample. And you know, the stitching is a little bit rougher. Uh, this is a sample I worked up really quick just to show you the different shades of turquoise and um, kind of go over the options. So, yeah, anyway, so the black stitching um, holds the turquoise overlay, sorry, uh, overlay, and then it can, the stitching can create shapes, and you know, I mean, there's different ways to do it, you can curve, um, you can create lines, or whatever, so that's one way to do it. The other way, which is probably easier, um, is to do it this way, so... As I explained before, these two are both, you know, this turquoise with just a blue dye over it. And then on this piece, uh, other than the blue dye, one of the things I ended up doing is I put a black antique, um, it's like a gel stain. And basically, I cut grooves into the leather, into the turquoise, and so it kind of exposed the natural part. And then you put uh, a gel antique over the top, and then you wipe it off really quick. So it does darken the turquoise a little bit, uh, depending on the shade you like. But what it does is it fills in the, the lines that you've cut into the leather, and you know, it fills it in, and it still creates a nice smooth, you know, kind of tech. You know, it's check, it's textured, but um, it's a little bit smoother than. I don't know if you can see that or not. And the basic idea would be so if this was the base, this is actually a little bit short, but if this was the base, then. You know, uh, that'd be a black. This is the buckle right here, for example. So that'd be a, that'd be a, like a black base uh, strap right here to create this strap part right here, and that'd be attached right there. So if you can imagine that. And then you know, same thing on the other end where the strap is. That'd be uh, the black kind of a, a little curved black leather strap that goes out here and here. And then as far as the watch attachment goes you know this little flap we could do it with the turquoise so a little you know turquoise flap right here and one you know one here and one here kind of holding the watch down or you could do it in black to kind of create a contrast um, it'd be up to you so that'd be one uh, idea of just a way to do overlay and to kind of match in the watch I was trying to look at you know some of the common themes in the watch and it's, it's a very, you know, decorative watch. Um, and a lot of geometric shapes in there. And 
one that stick, stood out to me was kind of the triangle diamond shapes, um, which I think kind of look cool on a, on a bracelet. So anyway, so if you imagine that on your wrist with the watch on, with kind of you know black tabs holding the watch down, or, or turquoise tabs holding the watch down, and um, you know the end buckles being black or, or turquoise, either way. Um, this is a really thin, you know, I don't know if you can tell or not, but if you look at it, the wa my watch band, this is scrap leather by the way, it's uh, <clears throat> like really rough, so <laughs> it's not a good representation of the actual leather I use when I do the final um, project. But, you know, the black leather is really thick, it's, it's the same thickness as my regular watch, watch bands. And then the overlays is really thin, I'm trying to get it at an angle so you can kind of see, it's this really thin. Uh, leather, so you just kind of I glue it on and then I stitch it. So that's the idea. The other thought I had, just kind of random, uh, was you know, I I do turquoise beads. If you look at um, some stuff on my website, I'm trying to think. Oh, on my blog, you'll see uh, some recent you know leather that I've done with just the turquoise bead I stitch on to leather, you know, and um, one thought I had was, you know, we could go with something like this, for example, and then if you had the black tabs, you know, that hold the watch down right here, that you could have a black tab and then you could almost stitch um, like a turquoise stone to kind of hold on. So instead of this rivet, uh, you would have like, let me find something that's the right size, you would have like a, like a turquoise stone kind of over the top of it, you know, um, stitched in, holding the, the little flap to the base layer. You know, so if you could picture something like that with a, you know, with this. Um, anyway, I, I just thought of that uh, just a couple minutes before making the video. Um, and of course, you could, we could always have it just decorative stones, just wherever too, on the bracelet, uh, stitched on. But using them as as points instead of this rivet to hold the tab, you know, tab in place. Um, anyway, that, that's just the option. It, you know, it would cost more, you know, turquoise, uh, real turquoise does cost a little bit more money and it would depend on, you know, wouldn't the, the type we chose or whatever, but it was just the option. Anyway, so I just wanted to show you the shades of turquoise I found. This is the main, the main turquoise color. It's kind of a lighter turquoise, kind of a pastel. This is it with the, like a shade of blue dye over the top, and I kind of wiped it off. Um, you know, it'll, there'll be different tones you can get depending on what you put on it. And then after the blue dye, this is blue dyed with a black antique over it to fill in the lines. And so I don't know if you can tell, hopefully in the video it, it comes across the different shades. And there's probably other shades you can get depending on how much blue dye you put on. I mean, I'm sure if you put like red dye on, you get like a purplish tint or whatever. Um, so yeah, so th this is kind of what I'm thinking as far as overlays go on top of uh, my my standard design. And uh, um, if you guys see my my other videos or my gallery, you know that I like to do this kind of oblong base where everything gets rooted down onto. Um, so that's kind of what this represents would be the oblong base with, with of course, nicer leather. So. Anyway, let me know what you think, uh, and what you think about this kind of turquoise idea to have it, you know, act as, you know, as, you know, tab keepers. Probably should have brought some black leather out, you know, in the shape of this little tab right here to kind of help you visualize that. But anyway, it's just the idea. Um, if you're interested in that, I'll, I'll work up a sample uh, to kind of put on here. And um, of course, it would probably give you a better idea once I have the watch face to kind of show it against one of these pieces or whatever. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think. I, you know, doing it this way is a lot easier, and um, it's, it just seems a little bit cleaner to me. Uh, the the stitching, you know, is a little more difficult to do because I like to match. You know, the, I like the needle to go into the same hole that that's already there when I stitch the border. So to try to get that to meet up is sometimes a little bit more tricky. Um, 
hopefully that makes sense. And you know, the, the leather is a little bit more raised up, so I mean, the, the stitching is more raised. So there's that look. And then there's a the look of this. Sorry. Anyway, let me know what you think uh, about the designs and the turquoise idea. And you know, this is just the one option. There's other ways to do overlays, and of course, this is just on a straight line. Um, you can always, you know, curve it or or do some other types of um, shapes to it. It would affect the stitching depending on where the stitches go and how much curve there is. Um, so this is something to keep in mind. Anyway. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, go check out my website. I'll also post a link to my blog, which has my more recent stuff on it. And it has, I believe, some stone samples. So I, where I've used turquoise and like amethyst and some quartz crystal. So um, yeah, I'll post a link to that in the description somewhere. Okay, see you later.